Welcome to this June 8th edition of What's Happening in Crypto, broadcasting from New Zealand and bringing you all of the latest thanks to the good folks over at CryptoNews.com. Bitcoin, $7,664. Ripple and Bitcoin Cash both maintaining good momentum on the seven day. Decred making some real movements as well. It's been having a pretty good few months recently. Great little cryptocurrency project, Decred. Coinbase acquires financial services firm to become SEC regulated broker dealer. Wow, Coinbase just keeps putting all these little pieces of the puzzle together when it comes to being a very serious financial services company. A little bit of investing fund over here, acquire some companies over here, get some licenses over here. The most recent development here is going to let Coinbase work with regulators to tokenize existing types of securities. That'll, of course, make them so much easier to trade. They want to democratize access to capital markets. The quote reads, if approved, Coinbase will soon be capable of offering blockchain-based securities under the oversight of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and the Financial Regulatory Authority. If Coinbase pulls this off, it's going to put them in such an amazing position to offer so many different kinds of services. And this company is just going to continue to grow in size, working with the regulators. It has always been Coinbase's thing. They like being compliant. They see the advantage in being compliant. And we can sit here all day and have conversations about screw the SEC and we don't need all these regulations and stuff. But the reality is Coinbase is making themselves available to the SEC and working with the SEC. And I think it's going to deliver Coinbase crazy amounts of success moving forward. Fidelity is quietly building a cryptocurrency exchange, says a report. The internal hirings indicate that they're starting to acquire people with the requisite knowledge. And to be honest, why not? Building a cryptocurrency exchange is the equivalent of a license to print money. Look at the unbelievable success that, success that companies like Binance or Coinbase have had. It's unimaginably profitable. I'm not surprised to see a company like Fidelity moving into this space. Circle to seek federal banking license with the US OCC. Again, we see a continued movement of all of these different companies moving in, trying to expand services, trying to find new ways to bring people into crypto, to bring the crypto markets to the people. This is just a continuation in such stories. Andy Warhol painting to be sold via blockchain in the world's first crypto art auction. This is being done by the guys over at Mycenas. The painting on offer, 14 small electric chairs worth $5.6 million is going to be tokenized and sold on the blockchain. We see a, a big interest right now in bringing art to the blockchain and democratizing, I guess to the extent that you can imagine it, the ownership of rare art. Certainly the high net worth individuals of the world and the rich families of the world have long been involved in the buying low and selling high of this rare art. This is just a continuation of that and bringing it to the blockchain. They'll only be selling 49% interest in the painting, but still an interesting concept. I'm not sure if I would want to own a portion of a rare painting like this, but I think for a certain class of investor, it will be an attractive offering. The UK government official archive is testing blockchain. You know, when I read this article, I thought, wow, this would be a perfect fit for Arweave. This is exactly kind of what they want to do, helping to create a permanent record of archives and information just like this. Kind of a cool idea and of course blockchain would be a great fit for these kind of things because centralized digital databases can be altered things can be erased things can be changed 
it's happened. It'll happen again, so long as we continue to use those centralized services. Something like a government archive, perfect for blockchain. Thailand's central bank eyes creating its own digital currency for interbank settlements. The takeaway here, they're not using XRP. We actually saw this just the other day also over in South Africa, where the central bank, using uh, JP Morgan's quorum actually, are putting together a really a payment network using their own blockchain technology. This idea of national cryptocurrencies really seems to be taking off as we see more and more countries getting interested in the concept. And look, it's the practical reality is, is that fiat currencies are not going to disappear overnight as much as we might like to see Bitcoin become the global currency tomorrow. But if we had at least some nice stepping stones along the way, national digital currencies could be a part of that. But you guys let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section, of course. Colombian Senate debate. Blockchain could change lives. South America is, except for Venezuela. Venezuela gets a lot of attention for various different reasons. But the rest of the continent, Brazil and Colombia and Argentina, don't get talked about nearly enough in the conversation. We're always talking about what's happening in East Asia, or what's happening in America, or what's happening in Europe. And actually, Africa's pretty popular too, but South America has so much potential for all the things we talk about. International remittances, land registry, being your own bank, the underbanked population, the unbanked population, all these different things. Perfect fit for many of these countries in South America. So yes, I agree with you, Colombian Senator. Blockchain could change lives and could be a great use case in your country to help lower corruption, reduce banking fees, etc., etc. We know the drill, guys. Japanese IT giant Fujitsu unveils blockchain platform for retailers. It's heating up, guys. It really is. You see the massive interest from these huge companies. They're all making their own blockchains. Just the other day, Baidu came out and said, we're making Super Chain. Now Japan's Fujitsu is making their own blockchain platform. It's heating up. The big companies, they're all going to have their own blockchain platforms. Some of them are going to work with existing projects, like IBM's working with Stellar Lumens, because they looked and went, wow, that tech is, we don't need to make our own blockchain. We can just work with you guys. And that's fine. Some other companies, though, taking a different route. I think we're going to see a big trend of this moving probably next year in particular, but it's already starting where big existing companies deploy their own blockchains. And this, of course, will not be always for the public. We'll have quite a few situations where it's proprietary blockchains used for their businesses, inside their businesses, for their customers. Curious trend, without a doubt. The guys over at Cobenhood aiming to launch their decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. Great, Coben Hood. A lot of the centralized exchanges, I think, are going to have to at least have a decentralized option within their exchange services in order to keep competitive. Coinbase is always going to have a place in their centralized buy and sell service, but you even see recently they acquired Paradex in order to help with their decentralized exchanging offerings. And it's just going to grow, guys. I think in the future, you will not be able to be a centralized exchange only. You will need to have these decentralized offerings on board. Of course, this is always in the plans for Coben Hood. Worth pointing out, just like Binance always had it in their plans to launch a DEX as well. Microsoft Azure lists the Aeon node. This is really just going to help developers set up while reducing the infrastructure one would require to build on the Aeon blockchain. Just a nice little step to help make it easier for people to use Aeon. Nice place for it to be listed too. It's, uh, I think it gives it very high level recognition, to be honest. Thanks so much for watching the video. Let me know what you think about any of today's news stories in the comment section down below. Long live the blockchain, and peace out till next time.